So this is the Airport Essentials. And what's really important about this particular backpack is its size. And this size is fantastic for traveling on all sorts of airplanes, including CRJs. It'll go into the overhead. It'll also easily go under the seat. That's right. So you can see what the slim profile is right here. In the front pocket, uh, we have the laptop in there. So if it even needs to get even smaller, if you take your laptop out of the front, you get even more space. That's right. Yeah, and this can, this, even though it's, it's a compact size, it can still fit a whole ton of gear. So we'll jump into the, the inside a little later on. As you can see, it can fit both a laptop and a full-size tablet. That's a 10-inch tablet in the front, probably even a larger tablet if you want. Uh, we got a little organizer in the, in the front here, pens, business cards, a uh, little key fob, some other little pockets for just all your travel essentials. It also has a cable on the side. What this is useful for is you wrap this around something and you lock it. So it just prevents people from walking away from your bag. But you can also use this to lock the main sliders on top of the bag. Mm -hmm, that's right. Both the laptop compartment and the main uh, compartment do have lockable zippers. So moving to the inside. We provide this uh, gear layout for different, just different ideas of how to pack the bag, whether you're traveling with Nikon or Canon. Um, you know, 70 to 200, 2470, 1635 um, can fit additional two lenses. Or if you're carrying more of a prime kit or smaller lenses, you can fit even more than that. Um, yeah, as you can see, this is this is designed for standard size bodies, so that would be the 5D Mark III or the Nikon D800 or D810. Uh, with the 70 to 200 attached. Mm -hmm. um, we do include a seam sealed rain cover here in case you do get caught in downpour. Of course, all of our materials are treated with a water resistant coating and a, mm -hmm. the underside is, is PU coated for superior water resistance. One of the reasons why the airport backpacks are designed in more of a rectangular fashion is because the goal is to get the maximum amount of gear on the plane given a certain size. So this particular backpack will hold a tremendous amount of gear that's right. for this size. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why it's so popular because you can get your camera in there mounted to your 70 to 200. You can get in a, you know, your wide, a, um, a 2470, that's all right. your critical lenses on the inside. That's right, yeah, this will even fit up to a, a 200 to 400 um, lens in here as well if you, if you want to get into big glass. So uh, on the lid here, we have some zippered accessory pockets. On the inside, we have some straps here to uh, attach on the side. You can attach a tripod or a monopod to the side of the, of the bag. You know, legs go in the mm -hmm. side pocket. Straps attach it to the webbing on the side. All right, so on the top, we do have a pocket for your business card. There's also an additional pocket where you can put your critical things in there, like maybe your mm -hmm. keys, wallet. Yeah, something that you need while you're traveling mm -hmm. very quickly. Let's talk about the back. Okay. So we have a very robust harness here on, on the whole um, airport backpack series. Adjustable sternum strap here on a slider that, that goes up and down. Um, and D-rings for just another lash point. Mm -hmm. uh, daisy chain, just more lash points. The waist belt is removable. The reason for that is that some people that travel don't feel the need for a waist belt. So it's there if you want it. If you don't want it, you can just take it off and put it on the inside of the bag. That's right. And there's also this unique pass-through, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so you can fit a pro speed belt or a thin skin belt. Those mm -hmm. are think tank photo belts um, built for our modular system. So you can weave that into the bag for if you want a little bit more robust padding mm -hmm. on your waist belt, because this is just a wedding belt. Right. Um, that also allows you to add any of our modular components to really mm -hmm. expand the capacity of this bag. So if you're using it as a working solution, you can drop lenses in, you can change bodies, whatever you need to do. Right, so even though these shoulder straps are really comfortable, mm -hmm. they're also a little bit thinner. And the reason for that is you can see that once they go flat on the back, it's gonna be much easier to put it into the overhead. That's right. Especially when you're looking at the small planes like the CRJs, there's just not a lot of room there. Exactly. And so when you get on the plane, you wanna have that confidence that you'll be able to put in the overhead and you won't be able to, you won't have to struggle yeah. at all and when you're speaking doing Speaking of the overhead, we do have you know two robust handles on the top and the side and another one on the bottom. So if you are taking it in and out of that um, mm -hmm. overhead bin, you know, you got all those handle points. Right, so this can be used for a tripod, but it could also be used for a water bottle. That's right, right. that's right. Yeah. So, cool. airport essentials, part of the airport backpack series for Think Tank Photo. Thanks for watching.